If you're thinking about buying the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, you need to watch this video because there's a couple things that I want you to know before buying it. And yes, the 3D printer is on the kitchen table. My girlfriend is not happy, but this A1 Mini has been on the kitchen table for a minute now. I've been using the heck out of it, man. I love this 3D printer, but there's some things you need to know. All right, so the first thing you need to know is that multicolor printing is a necessity. If you're on the fence about getting the AMS light, you need to do so. Look at this crazy stuff I've been printing. This is Deadpool here, and this is just the artwork. Like, look at this owl here. This is absolutely insane, and I gotta say, I've come from single color printing. I was kind of on the fence about multicolor printing, but look at this Mario, man. Like this, it's nuts the things you can do with multicolor printing, and it's getting crazier and crazier every single day. So guys, you absolutely need this AMS unit. That's all I'm gonna say. The second thing you need to know is that if you're looking to buy the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, you actually can only order it from two places. I wasn't even aware of this. You have to get it at BambooLab.com or a micro center near you. So if you don't have a micro center near you, you can't, you, you need to order it from BambooLab.com and it's gonna take a little time to get and that kind of sucks. I don't know why Bamboo Lab isn't on Amazon yet. It's kind of crazy because a lot of their competitors, I can get their printers online on Amazon, but you can't get Bamboo Lab printers anywhere else. That being said though, if you do get it from a micro center, they do a one year warranty, no questions asked whatsoever on those printers, which is pretty crazy. And the third most important thing you need to know is that the build plate on the A1 Mini here is smaller than I thought it would be. And if you're looking to print cool artwork like this, like a lot of people are, you know, this is like a vertical kind of piece of artwork and it, it just adds up really fast. That's as big as I can get this. So my advice to you, if you're looking to get the A1 Mini, is to actually just save like a hundred more bucks or so and get the upgraded A1. The build plate is a lot bigger. I just printed this here. This is kind of tiny. I wish I could give you an example here. Here's my hand. This, the build plate, like it, there is setbacks. And if you're thinking about getting the A1 Mini, I highly advise you just save a little bit more money and get the A1. It's the same exact machine, except the build plate here is bigger, meaning you can 3D print larger items, which is crucial. Like when, like when you're trying to print something like this, like look at this. This is such cool artwork, but I could print it bigger if the build plate was like out here. Another thing to note is if you're tight on space, because a lot of people are looking for the A1 Mini because they're tight on space. This looks like a lot of space that's actually being taken up on this kitchen table here in my house. But actually they have a modification where you can print a bracket that goes on here and it actually holds this whole entire AMS unit above the printer. So if you were 3D printing in a smaller apartment or like a dorm room, it actually saves a lot of space. So if you are limited on space, the A1 Mini is absolutely the printer for you. But don't hold back on the AMS because like I said, you can get a mount that goes above it like this. You can 3D print it. Kind of like this modification here. This is a, a handle that I've 3D printed. This, as you can see here, it seats. If you take this part off, you can just put that in there and then carry it. It's something like this, like an upgrade, except it's a bracket that holds the AMS and it screws into the bottom there. It's just worth noting because a lot of people are dealing with space restraints. People also ask me, is the A1 Mini the best beginner friendly 3D printer? And the answer is yes, but here's the thing. The A1 is a little larger and you know, the A1 Mini was the go-to for beginner 3D printing, but now the A1 is mainstream. You know, they had the recall and now the A1, I feel like is a better choice than the A1 Mini. And we're probably slowly gonna see this disappear a little bit and maybe the price goes way down. Uh, it's just because the A1 has more space and it's the same exact 3D printer. So it's like, why, why would I buy the A1 Mini and have less space so I can, I can spend $100 more and get the A1. And if you guys are looking for more info on the 3D printers themselves, I'll throw links in the description if that helps you as well. It'll be bamboolab.com because like I said, you can only buy them there or Micro Center. Another common question people ask me with the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini is what filament do I buy and where do I buy it? So a little piece of advice, I would buy your filament on Amazon in advance just because you'll save a little bit more money that way. 
Um, chances are you're probably gonna need a bunch of rolls if you're doing multicolor. I highly advise you buy the Amazon Sunlu filament kit. It comes with 10 different colors and you'll save a bunch of money on the rolls. It comes with all these colors, green, yellow, essentially all the basic colors you're gonna want for printing like the multicolor AMS stuff. Um, it's the go-to, Sunlu's an amazing brand. It ships to you in like a day or two on Amazon and you can't beat it. And no, I'm not sponsored by Bamboo Lab. I wish they'd sponsor me, but that's not even the case. So these are just really good printers. People love them and we're having a fun time just doing 3D printing. I feel like Bamboo Lab allowed beginners to get into 3D printing because you can just turn key and go, you know? A year or two ago, I was tinkering with the Enders and it was a nightmare and I just, it was fun, but it wasn't as fun as this is right now. So thank you, Bamboo Lab. Uh, your print, your 3D printer's amazing. Well guys, there you have it. If you're looking for info on how to set up your A1 Mini because you're about to buy it, I'll throw that link in the description as well. I have a really thorough video on that as well. Honestly guys, you can't go wrong with the A1 Mini if you have a little bit more money though I would get the A1 and don't forget to buy your filament in bulk to save some extra money I'll throw the Amazon link down below to the Sunlu filament kit that comes with like 10 or 12 rolls of this stuff it's amazing quality and don't forget to subscribe to the channel here I'm working on a studio downstairs and we're gonna have a ton of fun doing some more cool stuff all right see you guys